Hi, I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz, and in today's Dye Pot Weekly episode, I'm here with a silly experiment. I want to try to dye some 100% wool yarn with some sprinkles. When I was shopping for a lot of fun food coloring variants at my local craft store, I saw these sprinkles and admired their really bright colors. And I immediately thought of funfetti-based cakes, which are some of my favorite. Now these typically use the elongated sprinkles in the mix, but then with the liquid and the heat, they kind of dissolve and you end up with specks of color in a cake. So let's see if we can get something similar when we add these sprinkles to wet yarn and then microwave it. We won't know until we try. I am pre-soaking 100 grams of 100% wool yarn in some water with three tablespoons of vinegar. Um, this is because the I don't think the sprinkles have any citric acid in them, so we want there to already be acid in the yarn so that way when we add the sprinkles then the food coloring will bind. These sprinkles contain all of our favorite food coloring molecules. I've added an eighth of a cup of sprinkles to a shaker so that way I can distribute it to the yarn. And I have already prepped the work surface by putting saran wrap underneath the yarn. And so, yeah, let's start adding some sprinkles. It's possible, okay, I'm getting these all over my floor too. Um, it is possible that these will make the yarn kind of icky, sticky, and like won't dissolve completely and will be hard to remove. Kind of like if you remember when I did the dyeing yarn with rice that had been soaked in food coloring, we got really cool effects, but all the starch from the rice and the yarn made it so sticky that it wasn't something I would be interested in doing any other time. So right now, I'm going to zoom in so that way you can see this a bit better. Alright, so I've got like a pretty dispersed group of sprinkles around here so far. When I removed this yarn from the water that it was pre-soaking in, I had to, I squeezed out a lot of the water, but I probably could have gotten a little more out. It is damp, but not, you know, dripping. We need there to be some water in it because we want these sprinkles to dissolve a bit. So they can bleed onto our yarn. But let's touch one right here. You can see the sprinkles on my finger, and we have a nice little speck on the yarn. So it also seems like the food coloring is mostly on the outside. But we learned from some of our past dyeing experiments that nylon and the superwash nylon yarn that I use a lot takes up dye way faster than this 100% wool yarn and that speckles kind of work better on it for those reasons because it you know they don't spread out as much so we'll see if we end up with splotches or discrete little specks. I started with an eighth of a cup in this jar but I am pretty satisfied with this coverage. Let me zoom back out for you. I think, I'm curious about how much these stick. First, because maybe I'll add some to the surface to kind of go below these ends. Add some in the middle, 
Do do do. Why not go ahead and use it all up? Um, to give us, there we go. Oh, come on. To give us something to compare the amount to. And I think that this would probably be fun to try also on some yarn that you had dyed previously. But I wanted to start with some bare yarn so that way I could get a nice sense of the color penetration. All right, I am now going to roll this up. Actually, I'll start by adding a little plastic wrap on this end. And now I'm gonna just start rolling this up. You can hear them, uh, these little uh, candy pieces falling towards the ground. Um, but, ooh, look at that. You can definitely see we're getting, we're getting some cool color specs. For once with some yarn, that I'm wrapping up the saran wrap for the microwave, I'm not as concerned about squishing it. Um, clearly you can see that some of these specs have expanded to be a little more than a speck, but I think that we certainly will get a fun sprinkled yarn. So I'm now gonna microwave this for a total of four minutes in two minute intervals. The times that you will need to microwave it for the yarn to be soup, like really hot to touch will vary depending on your microwave. But I know that for 100 grams of yarn that a total of four minutes typically works well for me. I just took the yarn out of the microwave and it is very hot to touch. And the good news is that over here you could start to see that there is some bleeding. Uh, of color going on. The plate's a little hot, so I'm gonna need to put it down in a sec. But you can see that the sprinkles are wet and we are starting to see some splotches of color over our yarn. Um, I am already really excited by this technique and I am starting to really, really want to apply these sprinkles all over the yarn so we get cover up so much of the white but hopefully the actual sprinkles themselves will be easy to remove from the fiber and so that is going to be the ultimate test of how well this technique works while there is a lot of color on the yarn we have completely cooled and you can still see some of the sprinkles on the yarn so i know that when i unwrap this I will see, and put this in water, that I will see a lot of color come out in the water. But hopefully we will also see the sprinkles themselves come out in the water. And hopefully I don't dye my hands too much. Oh my gosh! You guys, this is amazing! Okay, so there's a lot of sprinkles left on our plastic wrap, but there's also a lot of color in the yarn. Oh, and they feel, it's kind of like a gel, so the, the sprinkles are definitely, definitely dissolving into the the water but check out oh sorry this is like check out this yarn it really is super fun fetty so i'm optimistic that i will be able to eventually get all of these sprinkles out um, i'm going to add some dish soap to the water and instead of doing multiple rinses right away i'm going to just let this soak in the water for a while um, to let all the sprinkles completely dissolve. The main difference between 
this dyeing project and the rice dyeing is that the rice is never going to dissolve in the water. So you would always have to pick off all the grains individually. But I am over the moon with excitement and I cannot wait to try to dye some yarn using even more sprinkles. Well, hopefully I'm not speaking too soon and I can actually get all the, like, here's some like, it's almost like gelatin or something at this stage. See, the, the sprinkles are almost like gelatin or something at this stage, but if I rub it, it seems to dissolve. So I'm optimistic. And we got some awesome yarn. Isn't this yarn delicious? It really does look like a funfetti cake batter. We have these really bright specks of color that all things considered didn't spread out that much. Some people might not call it a true speckled yarn, they might call it more splotchy, but I think it's fantastic. There are a couple spots, like right here, where clearly I missed um, a little bit of the sprinkle, but it pulls out without much issue, and the yarn is soft and totally, totally knittable. The colors themselves are a bit more muted than what you see on the sprinkles, but I think that that's just what we would expect because the sprinkles are not just a ball of food coloring. They are a um, ball of sugar and with like some colored candy coating on the outside. I wanted to bring the skein a little closer so you could see the specks up close. I really like in sections where there were clearly a lot of sprinkles because the colors end up being relatively distinct and there isn't a lot of mixing of the colors, which would be really hard to achieve um, if I was hand painting. And it also looks like the purple food, the purple sprinkles may have, the color may have broken, which is just super exciting. And I know that this would become a fun, well actually it would be a really fun yarn to turn into one of those cupcake hats, but I am so excited with this technique. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dye Pot Weekly. Thank you so much for all of your support. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and I hope you have as much fun dyeing yarn as I do.